So this is the market house. This is where the riot um, culminated back in 1847, and it's where our riot, our recreation of the riot that will be um, reenacting in the streets, it's where that will culminate as well. So we've got the space to sort of explore ideas, and it's very important that we do that with the community, with people that want to be involved, because it's you guys that will be making it happen with us. My name is Liam Hurley. I am the artistic director of As Well Be Shot, As Be Starved, which is our community production around the theme of the bread riot. Thanks very much for coming back to meet us again. There's so much that needs to be done that there's room for everyone and the sort of level of enthusiasm and ability that's been shown has really blown us away. So we're, we're, really, um, we're really excited about keeping working with you all. So I was actually quite amazed to find that there would be a community theatre production of this scale happening down in the southwest of England, where I am now living. Um, and I say England in quotation marks because of course we are in Cornwall. The basic approach was a whole kind of string of community engagement events that we called shout-outs. People of every age, every background, every ability, every level of experience were completely welcome to come and find out what we were up to with no strings attached, no commitment, but a big invitation to get involved. Ella. Alice, Madison, Shaz. We, we ran a workshop that was really inclusive, um, gave people a taste of the kind of uh, approach that we would be taking creatively, and then left it uh, up to the individual whether they wanted to opt in. I've always been drawn to working in community theatre. I've really found that in collaborating with people that are not professionals, there's an urgency and there's a vitality to the performance that can be um, delivered that is actually not possible uh, within the professional theatre. There's something about that moment of revelation when someone who is not a professional and maybe has never even done this kind of thing before is really revealing themselves in front of an audience are really stepping up to kind of show the, their biggest version of themselves in front of an audience that um, is, is really magical. We've got a phrase in Scotland which is curry in, which means like cosy in together. So curry, curry in together. We're going to be moving from this corner of the room to that corner of the room and what it requires is you trusting your own instinct when it's your turn to move. It's in that act of um, people stepping into that role that I think it's not just that uh, a less experienced performer can do as good a job as an experienced performer or a professional, it's that actually the act of them stepping into that role and stepping into the spotlight to discover a talent that they weren't aware they fully had, that's really what bring, will bring uh, a lot of the power to this production, I think. I always approach every community project as an opportunity to learn, actually. So I'm a professional, the creative team of this project are professionals, so we do have skills to impart, but there's always an exchange and it's always a two-way learning that happens. And that for me, the opportunity to learn about this area, about the history and about the, the current lives of the people in the area and to collaborate with them, with Cornish people in telling this Cornish story is an immense privilege for me and a very enriching one. And it's one of the reasons that I feel very lucky in my job. Every project kind of changes you along the way and what I really had the chance to witness is how it raises people's expectations of themselves and that sense of raised expectations of themselves and of the world will be taken out into all different walks of life, not just future theatre projects. In a week's time we will be bringing together this bit of text with some of the action that we've been doing and just thinking about how we can illustrate this story with some of that movement stuff. Do -do -do -do. Thank you very much. Five times. <laughs> all right. Participation in an event like this can really be enriching for people in all sorts of levels. And so for me, that's the, that's the true legacy. And I would really love it 
if um, after this project somebody came along with a big fat check and said this has to happen again in a year's time or two years time, who knows, who knows what's possible.